We are in the festive season and the place to have been this past weekend was at the Elephant for the Eric Wainaina Christmas Party. The three-hour event kicked off at the Elephant Backyard at exactly 8 p.m. and the fans who attended the event were in for a one-of-a-kind musical treat. To charge the atmosphere was Mixmaster VDJ Space on the decks who warmed up the night with the superb mixes. The gig pulled an interesting mix of an upturn crowd of both nationals and multinationals alike who were here to party. As usual, Eric Warnaina's venue had its signature look complete with a makeshift bar, haystacks that served as seats, and all the audience needed to bring with them was a friend and their Maasai Kangas. The stage was set ready with all instruments that are live band requires. A bass guitar here, drum set there and a keyboard, a clear indication that this was going to be a perfect live gig affair. First on stage at the Elephant Backyard was the events host, Eric Wainaina. The man of the hour put up a mellow performance backed up by his band and super music producer Chris Adwar. He got straight into it taking us through his various hits. <laughs> Laughter and joy filled the air as his fans joined in and sang along to one of his biggest hits, Retoa Riaku. He sure does have a way with the crowd, making everything sour sour. And more hits followed. Well, this year, I've, I've established some good uh, production relationships uh, with Kagwe Mungai, a guy called Jazz Odongo, uh, a producer in the U.S. called Will Kennedy I was in school with. And we are charting out a new course uh, for, for the new style of music that I'll be doing. Next up, Kagwe Mungai took to the stage. Kagwe, who has made a name for himself not only as an actor but as a producer, surprisingly put up a tremendous performance, not disappointing the hip hop fans who were present as well. I just keep raising the standard, and end of December, the standard is going to be raised again. End of January, it's going to be raised again. Every month, consistently raising the bar until we get everywhere, until you get sick of hearing Kagwe Mungai, you know? That's the plan. There was something for everybody at this party and to complete the night's performance, Wagengehau Frasha of P Unit also graced the stage. Frasha did good despite the fact that this was not his usual type of crowd. He still showed them some love. It was a night of musical fun and even though others danced off the beat, others stole the show. Um, a guy like Kagwe is amazing, you know, he's, he's a wonderful producer and uh, we've been working on some remixes and some new material. Uh, Frasha is on one of the songs as well, and then the young guy called Pato Jogona, who I taught in school. I mean, I, sometimes I feel like I taught him nothing because he's so, so very talented. And so, uh, ultimately, it's all about giving everyone a platform to do their thing. For all those who are wondering where Eric Wanena got his musical side, one well, look at Eric's dad doing the twist sure gave you the answer. Eric's 
Christmas party, set the mood for the festivities. And for those who attended it, they got an early Christmas gift. Be merry, have fun, but of course be safe, you know. Put your life first. Don't think about having fun too much. Put your life first and then you can turn up. Kenya is a beautiful country and uh, we can do a lot of good things together, you know. Um, we need to trust each other. We need to open our doors to each other and be friendly to each other. We should pray for this country and hope for the best. Um, and I have faith that it's going to be a good 2015.